Hello all, so today I wanted to do my first kind of story time type video. If you've read the title, you probably already have an idea of what I'm going to talk about. It was wild, but I would like to start off just completely. Nobody was injured, um, there was very minimal damage. The only thing was I kind of freaked out a little bit just because it was my first crash. The reason I want to make a video about it is just because it was so strange like you don't even think of a crash happening this way it was it was wild it was it was wild this happened on my trip to Nashville I was actually wanting to kind of vlog the whole trip but I'm an inexperienced beginning vlogger so I was missing out on a lot of stuff and just not recording stuff so about halfway through the trip I was just like you know what screw it I'm not gonna do this anymore and then this happened and I was like wow I really should have just kept vlogging like Man! Basically what was happening is we were in downtown Nashville. I had just sung at the Commodore Grill. I was on one of the writer's rounds that night. One of my good friends, Amanda Daughtry, was singing at Alan Jackson's Good Time Bar downtown. It's like right in Broadway, right in the middle of it all. She is the sweetest thing, by the way. Like, she, I think she gets sweeter every single time I see her. Like, she, it's just exponential. I don't even know how it's possible, but it's a thing. If you're in Nashville, she's always playing down there. Look her up and see where she's playing next. Like you, she's such a good performer as well. And you just, you need to go see her. She's the love of my life. So we went to go see her downtown. Most bands there perform really late. So she didn't get started until like 10, 45, 11. Um, and we stuck around for a little while. She let me sing a couple songs. So we didn't get out of there till like midnight, 12, 15 ish. And we're driving back and we're going on 24, like the interstate. Um, and usually that, that thing is packed. That road is so slow, but it was like midnight, so it was fine. Um, but it's a really busy road. We were staying with my uncle. And they live out past the airport, so they were a good, like maybe 20 minutes away. I'm driving because it's at night. My mom couldn't really see as well with her contacts. Um, and I'm fully licensed, it was fine, I wasn't breaking any rules. <laughs> I kind of slowed down, I don't remember what was going through my mind when this happened. Maybe I was just so used to having to slow down behind people because... I'm not bashed in Nashville, but y'all are kind of idiots when you drive. So we slowed down, I don't know what was going through my mind though, because it was midnight, like it didn't make sense. I was going on the exit to go to their house. There was a semi truck and then a couple cars and then us. And then I remember we had to move because I was shifting traffic for some reason. Um, so we were all the way in the right lane anyway. And then a cop car got behind me. And I remember like being aware of that because you're always a little aware when there's a cop car near you. You're like, oh, shoot. okay, act cool, act casual. It's fine. You're not like you're nervous, even though you're not breaking any rules. They're like really like cruiser speed. Like when you first let your foot off the brake, that's how slow we're going. And there's a huge semi truck, a couple cars ahead of me, and I just see it like start moving back. And I was like, what? <laughs> like in the middle of the interstate, this huge busy highway. It's just it starts moving back almost like it was accidentally shifted into like reverse or something, or the the person that was driving it was asleep or something. So obviously the cars behind it are freaking out because we're so slow that we're so close together we can't like veer right or left or anything. We're all like blaring on our horns trying to wake this person up. Uh, we don't know what's going on. We're like, why isn't this person paying attention? They're about to hit all of us. And my mom's right beside me and I'm like, oh my God. And I was just kind of frozen in place. I thought the truck was gonna stop. I don't know, like I, I just had faith in good timing or, hey, that's a line that I wrote. That's a... That's a digression. I was just kind of like frozen in place. And I'm, I'm just like, oh, surely the truck is gonna stop. And it doesn't stop, it just keeps going and it hits the car behind it, which pushes that car into the car behind it, which pushes that car into us. And we get pushed into a cop car. So that was fun. The thing that was so scary about it is I could not do anything about it. There was absolutely nothing I could control about the situation. I I probably, if I thought a little fast, like a split second faster, I might have had to room to merge to the right on the shoulder. 
but it was so tight and all of us were so tight it's not like I was just following the car too closely like all of us were really tight so I just kind of like hit my brakes and just went to a full stop was blaring my horn to like warn the people behind me and stuff I just kind of sat there and I waited I was like well I just watched the car in front of me just slowly get closer to me and I was like well this is about to hit me and I can't do anything about this so I'm just gonna wait here. I think there was more screaming involved. I think I was like, oh my god! Like I was freaking out, obviously. In my head, I was just like, well. It's also worth noting that this is a fairly brand new car. My dad just bought it last year. It's, it is his baby child. Like I was so worried. And I know he's not like some materialistic, like he would have been angry at me for getting his car wrecked. Like he's, he obviously cares more about me and my mom, but I was still like, I'm the one driving it when it gets in its first wreck and when it, you know, gets all this damage. And I just like saw the car. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So one of the good things is I think my mom was saying this while all of this was happening. Well, the cop car is right behind us. They saw all of it. They know that none of us are at fault. And only when we got everybody in this huge chain reaction got to a full stop, did I start to see smoke coming out of that semi truck's engine. So it looks like maybe they weren't at fault either, unless something was wrong with the truck and they shouldn't have been driving it or something. I think they did some investigation, um, but we haven't heard about it about anything like that. It's actually very little damage as well because it was so slow. I but I was a mess, you guys. So we just wait there and at this point, I think we were out there till like 1.30. We were sitting there for like another hour once we all pulled over and the cops were right there to just get everything squared away. They were so nice. I think it was the Nashville like Metro police. And like I said, they got a front row seat to everything so they knew that none of us were at fault. Such a busy highway and we were in such a slow wreck and it was so such minimal damage nobody was hurt it's another way that we were so lucky so yeah i mean it was definitely i kind of hit the jackpot as far as first car crashes go it was still pretty spooky it was also in the middle of the night it was it was just wild like how many car crashes like that do you hear about like so after we talked to the police officer for a little bit uh, he just let us go, he gave us the insurance information, and, and we went on home, got back about an hour later than we expected, but, and I actually had to get up early the next morning because I had a co-write. Oh, that's another thing that's really funny, I'd actually met with a writer that day that gave me some exercises to kind of like, how he wanted me to kind of plan for this co-write, and, and a lot of it had to do with like keywords and stuff and free association. So we're just sitting there waiting for the police officer to go. And I just pull my journal out and I'm like, all right, car crash, interstate, um, white lines, car lights, headlights, tail lights. And it's just like every, cause I was just so like in the moment. It, I thought that was funny because I, I hadn't had any other opportunity to write that day cause it was just so jam packed. And so we're just sitting there doing nothing with my hazard lights on and we're just chilling, waiting for, for stuff to happen. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'm gonna write a song about this. <laughs> yeah, it was, like I said, we were so lucky. I'm so lucky for this to have been my first crash experience because there was really no injury or, or significant damage involved. I just wanted to share that with you guys because, man, I really wish I had been vlogging that. that I don't know how the cops would have felt to just see someone just like, with a bit of, okay, there's a cat. Bootsy! I don't know if you can hear him meow. But you know what, we're gonna take a field trip and go see Bootsy. Bootsy! Hello! What do you want? Huh? Hmm. Oh. Bootsy's gonna help me with this little outro, right? So if you liked this video, make sure you show that down below. And you can subscribe if you want. There's also a little bell button next to it that makes sure that you actually get notified when I post a new video since YouTube changed their little policy about that. If you would like to subscribe and do that, I would love you forever. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Instagram. Pretty much anything with a search bar. He's mad at me. He's, I'm not giving him enough attention. Show your face. Thanks for watching.